Hello there! Tonight's story is John o Papaya and the Spy Stories Part 14. Now remember, Miss Double O Papaya has been captured and Agent 3 has decided to go looking for Agent 2. The Spy Stories were coming to an end and Mr and Mrs Papaya knew that Jono would want the last two episodes to be as exciting as the first. They were always amazed at how more people came to listen to each new story. Not only that, but everyone seemed to be constantly talking about it. Until the next episode, that is. As they approached the hospital, there were even more people at the door waiting to greet them. They even had a big banner outside the hospital saying, Where is Agent 4? All along the corridor to Jono's room were drawings people had made of the spy stories. Mrs Papaya smiled at the thought of them and how excited the hospital had become listening to those stories. Inside Jono's room stood a very large crowd of people. Hope you don't mind, but everyone who's ever treated Jono wanted to be here. Mr and Mrs Papaya sat down to speak to Jono for a few moments, but it was clear even Jono just wanted the story and said. Giving in, Mr Papaya said, OK Jono, OK everyone, are you all ready? Two more episodes to go and tonight's episode is called Agent 2. A big cheer was heard in the corridors and everyone in the room started laughing. Mr Papaya said, Agent 3 had seen that Miss Double O Papaya was being watched by Agent 10 and started to realise that what Agent 4 had told him was true. He needed to come up with a plan and part of that plan was to see if Agent 2 was still alive. Agent 3 stayed in the tree until nightfall and then slipped away to a hideout that he'd always kept secret within the Solomon compound. As he entered, there was a sudden rush at the door and a hand grabbed his arm and spun him around, pulling him inside. Agent 3 fought back and bent down, twisting as he moved to try and rotate the arm of the person attacking him. The mysterious person leaned backwards, shifted their body weight, forcing Agent 3 again towards the wall, trying to get his hand right up his back. Swiftly, the mysterious person rotated their body, applying a body jam and trapping Agent 3. Who are you? came a voice. Agent 2? said a startled Agent 3. I thought you were dead. Agent 3! Glad it's you, but you were sloppy with that move. That must be why you are Agent 3. And I am Agent 2. Letting Agent 3 go, the two agents gave each other a hug. I just asked Jennifer to find out where you were. Where were you? Jennifer, when did we start using first names? Agent 2 then looked at him. He said, I will tell you later, but we don't have too much time to waste. Double O Papaya is in trouble. And unless we get to her, she won't be alive much longer, so let's go. Agents 2 and 3 snuck out of the hideout and made their way out of the compound towards the beach. Stealing two horses from the local stables, the two of them raced northwards towards Safriere. Travelling past the Piton mountain volcanoes, they spotted what they thought were the rogue agents and Miss Papaya. Agents 2 and 3 hid out of sight. They knew the solemn agents would be watching, looking out for signs of being followed. As they reached the Gropiton, the largest of the two mountain volcanoes, the rogue agents began to climb upwards, dragging Miss Double O Papaya with them. Their plan was to take her to the top of the volcano and make her disappear. Then they would create a fake love letter from Agent 3 to Miss Double O Papaya, asking her to meet him, only for him to get jealous. They'd fight and she would fall into the volcano. Then Agent 3 would be so upset he would run away never to be seen again. Anyway, back to the story. Agent 3, I'm going to sneak higher up the volcano. You stay low. I will force them towards you and we can take everyone out. Remember, no one can go back. Agent 3 nodded and watched as Agent 2 ran around the volcano and climbed towards the top. When he was high enough, he prized some volcanic rock off the mountain and threw it down towards the rogue agents. As it did, the rogue agents moved sideways and this was all Agent 2 needed. He started running towards them, throwing more rocks as he went. 
Agent 18 was hit on the head and he went down. Agents 10, 18 and 23 tried to take cover, moving back down the volcano, right towards Agent 3. Biff, bam, wallop, and a few more bams just to make sure, and the rogue agents were down. Tying up the rogue agents, they lowered them into the volcano and they were never seen again. Both agents rushed to Miss Double O Papaya and untied her. She was happy to be alive. Again, outside of Jono's hospital room came a loud cheer, and inside Jono's room, smiling people were giving high fives and fist bumps. Wait, we haven't finished, Miss Papaya said, and the hospital went silent. Looking at both agents two and three, Miss Double O Papaya said, Let's take down the commander! And make sure you come back to find out what happens next. Good night. Let me tell you a story that will carry me a bunch of bedtime. A sweet and gentle story about more than a nursery rhyme. So, go to sleep tonight. Sweet dreams, everything is alright. Close your eyes. From the Caribbean bunch at bedtime.